Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. More 2022 sets have popped up here and there. There's more on the way as well. Three new projects got 10,000 votes of support from LEGO Ideas. And like always, there's a handful of other sort of miscellaneous stories that all happened within the world of LEGO in this last week. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share. We've got links to everything that we're talking about and more in the description below, including the video to our latest instructions that have popped up in the web store from the designer Jarek. This is the T70 X-Wing. He built it in two different color combinations. You've got Pose colors with the afterburner, plus the more standard gray and blue version. It's got a whole new gear system on the inside for operating the S-foil function. It's extremely solid and looks incredibly sleek. If you want to see the full video of this minifig scale model, check out all the links in the description below. And all right, let's jump straight into the top stories of the week. Perhaps one of the most unexpected announcements is that Overwatch 2 is getting a set, at least one. LEGO has revealed the set Titan 76980. The figs are Tracer and May, and we'll see if there are more Overwatch sets to come. It's a pretty decent looking mech for sure, and in general, people are pretty happy about this model's announcement. No official word on exactly how much this set is going to cost. Before we jump into the reveals of the week, I just do want to show off this one quick video that LEGO released recently. There was an article that actually talked about it last week. I didn't have time to get to it, but now there's a video and it's actually some tips, some building tips and tricks on how to disassemble the at -AT. It's such a big and strong model that LEGO used some interesting techniques to really lock certain pieces in place, which has made it extremely difficult for some builders to actually disassemble if they ever wanted to. LEGO released a statement talking about what exactly needs to happen in order order to get the pieces out and then they launched a video as well showing how to take certain parts of the model apart. I just thought it was funny here in the studio because I'm often answering emails about how certain areas of models come together and now that LEGO is producing some pretty complex stuff they're getting into now similar troubleshooting waters. Anyways Personally, I just thought that was kind of a fun little story. Let's jump into some of the reveals. Harry Potter 2022. These all came from a larger catalog, so the pictures aren't like official product images necessarily, at least they're pictures of official product images, if that makes sense. There are some more books on the way, or moments, as they say for these theme of sets. You've got the Divination class, a pretty solid looking Defense Against the Dark Arts class with Mad-Eye Mooney, and a set that I'm sure a lot of folks have been waiting for for a while. I don't know when the last time this has come out, but you get the Hogwarts Hospital Wing. Lego City dropped, I think, over 20 sets last week in terms of official images. There's a couple more that have now been revealed from the same catalog. There is a moon rover that seems to be mining uh, gems from, I guess, the moon, plus a lunar space station. There are little support beams at the bottom of this because it should be able to display on a flat surface, but I think the model itself is supposed to be just floating in space at all times. Both look pretty cool, definitely good additions to some of the larger space city sets that we saw earlier. And then Technic had a few more reveals as well. They have a John Deere tractor on the way, plus a few other interesting models. One seems to have control functions and I think can drive both upside down and right side up if I'm not mistaken. Buzz Lightyear now has a brick head figure, so no surprise there. And from this same catalog that I was showing the pictures from before, or there are some more Marvel sets coming down the way, and we'll probably find those out maybe next week or the week after. Let's jump straight into ideas. Often licensing is an issue for a lot of different LEGO ideas projects. I'd be very curious to see where the licensing team lands on this one. From Adam Mark, this is McDonald's franchise 1955 to 1967 an excellent looking build and I'd be very curious to see what a legal discussion from the Lego Ideas team would look like trying to get a model like this approved. Awesome looking build though. Then from Captain Mutant, we have Stargate. It's a solid looking vignette piece, kind of the exact thing you'd want to see from a Stargate looking little diorama. You've got the main characters, the ramp, and of course the gate. There's a 25th anniversary coming up. Perhaps this could be an incentive to getting a model like this pushed through. And then from the builder, Brick Dangerous, we have the Magic Bookends. It can be a single model where there's several books together, or you can split them apart and have them on either 
end of a bookshelf and be bookends. There's some great building techniques that actually create the books themselves. They look very detailed. There's also some fun magical figures on either end. And this isn't the first time I think a bookend style build has been voted in with 10,000. But I'd be curious to see if a model like this ever does get approved. It is an interesting idea. Congratulations to all the builders that got 10,000 votes of support. Check out any of the links in the description below if you want to learn more about this week in news or check out our web store, brickvault.toys. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like or sub. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.